Bonjour à tous and uh, welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And uh, well, this is the series that I love and it's called The Daily Stuff. So uh, questions that you can ask every day and that you will have to ask every day if you live in a French speaking country or if you are in a French speaking family. So the first one, did you take your things? Tu as pris tes affaires? So you can see that I'm putting the plural form. So for affaires, your things. Okay, so because it's plural. So first we will put the, the S at the end of affaires. You don't pronounce it. And you put the uh, adjective uh, possessive. Tes. Uh, at the plural form because affaires is plural. So tes affaires. You make the little liaison to make, to make it beautiful. Tes affaires. Tu as pris tes affaires. So the verb is prendre, uh, and uh, we're using this, this past tense, uh, le passé composé. If you have no clue how to make it, uh, there are a few videos covering this topic, so please have a look at them. Tu as pris tes affaires? You want to walk? Tu veux marcher? Short question, if you look, I mean, if you look at it, you've got the subject, tu, we agree that, I mean, we're using for this series, we're using this informal you, tu. Okay, tu veux, so veux, hein, it's coming from vouloir, vouloir, it's to want, and then we conjugate, it's a bit tricky, but it goes like veux, final X not pronounced, marcher, tu veux marcher? Can you still walk? I mean, and if you have children, you, you feel the difference between the two questions. Tu peux encore marcher. So, um, this peut is coming from pouvoir, pouvoir can. Tu peux encore, it's this still concept, marcher. Tu peux encore marcher. Are your feet hurting? Tu as mal aux pieds. Tu Ah, remember, it's the verb uh, avoir, okay? But then when you conjugate it in the second person, tu as, S is not pronounced. Tu as mal, o. So remember, it's the plural form. Basically, it's when you combine the preposition a with the article les, uh, because here it's the plural, les pieds. A plus les will become o, written like that, a, u, x. But you don't pronounce x, so o, pied. Ye, 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 pied. Tu as mal aux pieds? Are you tired? Tu es fatigué? Tu es, remember we write it a S, fatigué. Ge, 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 ge. All right. This is the masculine form. For the feminine form, it will be with an extra E at the end of fatigué. But then it would be mute, so we would not pronounce it. So basically, this fatigue form, the one that I pronounce, it's the same for the masculine and the feminine. Tu es fatigué? Are you hungry? Tu as faim? Tu as faim. Okay, and it's funny because if you look, uh, if you look at the structure and you start to compare it to English, you can see that in English we're using this être concept and to be. Uh, but in French, we're using the avoir, okay? We will see later, but I mean, that there is an, another uh, possibility to use with être, but in that case, it means that we should put an adjective after. Tu es, and we could put affamé, but it's a bit more like starving. But still, it would be possible. It would be possible to express the same concept. But in most of the cases in French, we will go for avoir, but you can see that tu as... And then after that, we have a substantive, we have a noun. Tu as faim. Are you hungry? So you have hunger. I mean, it, it would be like the, the direct uh, uh, translation. Tu as faim. Are you thirsty? Same concept here. Tu as soif. Soif, it's thirst. You have thirst. Huh? Tu as soif. Tu as soif? Do you want to go to the restroom? Room? <laughs> Look, I've been making a typo here. Uh, it's not the first one, and of course I will blame the computer once again. So it's restroom. Uh, tu veux aller aux toilettes? Okay. In French, it's quite interesting because this toilet uh, word that we're using for the restroom concept uh, will be at the, I mean, in the plural form. Okay. Au 
toilettes. Okay? So, les toilettes, we're talking about the, the, the restroom. Tu veux aller aux toilettes? Okay, so, and now it's restroom, can you see? Do you need to go to the restroom? You can feel the slight difference. Hein? Tu as besoin d'aller aux toilettes. So, in that case, we're not really talking about the fact that the person is willing or want to go there, but if it's a need in that case. Remember that in French, the need concept uh, is structured, constructed with the verb avoir, like you'd see, you can see here, tu as, and after that we use besoin, and then it's de, okay? But then because aller is starting with a vowel, de will have to drop and then we'll put this apostrophe. Tu as besoin d'aller aux toilettes. Don't forget to raise your voice at the end because it's a question. Tu as besoin d'aller aux toilettes? And that's it for today. Uh, but thank you very much for your time. Remember that the premium platform Frenchforme.net is waiting for you. I've been making this platform with love and you've got a lot, lot, lot of material. Everything you need to learn French. Um, and that's it. So see you tomorrow. Au revoir et à demain.